Kamani Vidal is lined up in the backfield with Watson. Here we go. First play from scrimmage. It's a pass, and Watson is incomplete. After two straight wins in the Sun Belt over Georgia Southern and Texas State, they're going to run it with much wonder if that's going to be part of the game plan. And here they go with tempo. That's what Troy wants to do, to throw a little underthrown. And that's the one thing. It, Troy goes very fast tempo, but if you don't make first downs, you're off the field very quick. Had a little bit of pressure, some wind down there. That can really affect the pass game. A little jet sweep. And getting loose into the secondary. It's Tez Johnson. Johnson inside the 20. It's a receiver, but he can do stuff like that, too, when he gets loose. And I'll tell you what, Clay, last week against App State, leverage on defense was a problem, and there it was again. You see Alex Spillum, the safety overrun, and then the great cutback. Big-time play. Vidal again in the backfield. Here's Watson off his back foot. Kind of to be. Watson to throw. Steps into one to the end zone. Man. In Coastal Carolina, as we talked about, trying to get the bad taste out of their mouth, and that's not the way to do it. You mentioned the tight ends. Usually. Now here comes Troy again. Little play fake to Vidal. They're going to swing it out to Tez Johnson. Johnson gave it up quickly on that last drive. B.J. Smith in the backfield. He's going to get his first tote. Finds a little breathing room up this guy. Here's Smith again, and that's going to be a first down. As Johnson and Stoudemire out there right now. Play action. Gunner Watson over the middle has a man open. That is caught E. Jr. And this is interesting, Clay, because I know Coastal's game plan coming in. We want to get after Gunner Watson early so he can't get comfortable. Well, he looks pretty comfortable right yeah. now. It was a great pass. He's. Ball star. The offensive players did not get set before the snap. Five yard penalty. No first half. Yeah, that's it's been an injury plague career for B.J. Smith, a knee injury in 2019, a hip injury in 2020. Going back to the Troy back in plus territory. They're going to dump it off short to Smith. And he'll see if Coastal brings some pressure here. Troy's just going to try and run it. And it's a good run for Vidal. Gets loose. He's got the couple of touchdowns against Texas State. And quickly, they're back up to the line. And it'll be Vidal again. This time he's cut. And this is the, the run play we start to see Troy have some more success with lately. This is an outside zone. He just happens to cut that thing up. Big plays both in the run and pass game. Kamani Vidal is going to get it here on second and nine. Gets loose. And he. Holding. Offense number 55. Ten yard penalty. Replay second down. Set him back. And that's a killer because that was a nice run there. Again, this is an outside zone, but you can tell, Clay, they're really trying to cut this thing up inside quick. A good. Troy, much better lately, but a month ago, they were averaging 10 penalties per game. And Gunnar Watson didn't have any options. See if Gunnar tries to find him. Watson looking his way, but he's going to sail it out of. <laughs> Javantez Woods in the backfield here is Gunnar Watson and the Troy offense will go back to work starting at their 25-yard line. He's ever coached. He understands all the wrinkles of the game. Watson play action pass. Nobody hunches. You, you know, you practice them and you do what you can. Sometimes the ball doesn't come your way, but they need some. Watson has time. Checks it down. And it is caught to Jabri. Big win against Notre Dame. I know only 27-20 against Navy last week, but uh, that's a... On its second drive, 79 yards. And that's the best game he's ever played. He was impressive. All right, here's Watson now. Loads up on third down. It's picked off, intercepted. Picked off at the 40. Mm. Prior to the pass, holding defense number seven. Ten-yard penalty, automatic first down. And it was on Boykin. And, Clay, you talk about how... Coastal's not gotten the takeaways. They get one there, but it's not going to count. And Boykin, you know, and he's going to play underneath for Troy. And Watson standing tall in the pocket, getting some pressure now. Defense, yeah, he really fun. loves this group. Defense has a lot of fun out there playing football. That's what it's all about. On second down, running. It's really cutting up inside. That's having a lot of effect tonight. That's why it's so important to keep this game close so the run game can push into the near side. He's in the slot. Their number one receiver. But they're going to go back to what's working right now, and that's Kamani. Run. Snap it quickly again. Stay with Vidal. Tries to find some room. Offense really needs him. 
He had some power five offers, but Troy got to him early. Stayed committed. They go back to the air, thrown to the outside. He said he might get a little extra work here tonight, especially with what they've lost to receiver. I think uh, that was one guy they're here to see, Jeffrey Gunter. He is an NFL prospect for sure. And this is just a great inside move here, a little swat and swing. And his knowledge of the game and his quick decision making, he's going to make you pay, and he has. And they punted on their first two series. They have been red hot since. Meanwhile, Troy they go up 10-0, and then the penalty, and then they have to punt, and then it's been all coastal ever since. Gunnar Watson throw. The comeback caught by needs to get something on the board here as Coastal's going to have the football to start the second half. B.J. Smith again. Yeah. It's one of the big things he's done. He's been very careful with the football. Don't get reckless with it. Now that, for the most part, Coastal's taken him away tonight. They have. Here comes some pressure. A run blitz for Coastal Carolina. Somehow Smith is able to get through. Watson on the slant to Barber. He gets loose. Jabri Barber shedded a tackle. And Watson with a dagger. The, the first thing he does, Clay, is he does a great job handling the blitz. There's a free. He still could factor into the college football playoff for sure. Kamani Vidal in the backfield, but Watson wants to throw. There's some con. Seventh possession for Troy. Best starting field position. Had a 72-yard scoring drive on their last. This is likely two-down territory. Stumbling a little bit is what has really been getting it done as far as the takeaways. Takeaways. You know, they've been giving up some yards, but making some big plays. There's Widom. As the clock is ticking, coming up on a minute to go. Watson dumps it off by Dell. Over. Trying to capitalize on the coastal turnover here before half. He's in trouble and down he goes. Get the sack. Gunnar Watson cannot take the sack right there. And then afterward. Caution being displayed by the training staff for Coastal Carolina, and it's what you would expect in a situation like that. Troy did respond there late, and that's in the first half there. Got him back on the board. Now it's up to them to do it again. That's going to be a first down. McDonald, their weak side linebacker. They say he might be their best NFL prospect. Big run, Vidal gets loose to the far sideline. Busting it up inside. This time he took it out to the perimeter. Worked out well. Man, they just keep feeding him. He's all lathered up. Now that's his 12th carry of the night. He's closing in on 90 yards. And he's just reading those all linemen. They're all going student body right. And he's just, it's up to him to find a little crease. Keeps it to the outside and hits it. Keep going to him. This time, Coastal up as B.J. Smith checks in. Gunnar Watson goes under center. Deep handoff Smith trying to pick up a yard. And he got it. First down. Season, that was 2018, but then has been really Injury plague since. Watson flares it out. This is a double pass. Orlando Lacey going to the end. Back and make the catch. And that's an absolute killer because you know they've gone over this and practiced this and practiced it, and it's there. This is a huge momentum swing play. In the Tez Johnson goes to the right of the formation. He's going to get it on a bubble screen. Tez needs their go-to wide receiver. Troy, 4 of 11 on third down tonight by Dell. Down the side part of the field, so everybody on the field, everybody in the stadium thinks the ball's going over there, and they just hand that thing off. You get a wide receiver down. Vidal on the left hip of Watson. And it is Vidal, and he's going to go into the... And a touchdown. He was the workhorse. He's been excellent, and they've done a good job combining the temp. Second-year freshman out of Marietta, Georgia. They're going to go to him again. Kamani stepping out of a tackle. First down, run him. As they've got the football at their own 29-yard line. And they'll hand it off. That all season, they've had issues. Gave up 228 rushing against App State. And now tonight, they're on fourth down. They've got to pick this up. They go to what's working. field. Not no. a lot. A lot of his passes have been dink and dunks. It's uh, 13 for 23. Had the touchdown uh, earlier there. The pressure coming off the edge. It was picked up. Woods in the. Here comes the rush. Picked up. Barber makes the catch. Kamani Vidal has been outstanding tonight in the running game for Troy, but they want to pass here. Gunnar Watson gets out of the pocket, throws on the run. Man, watch. Yeah, that's tough. We've talked about the accuracy of Watson. 73% on the year. 
And he takes off his throws on the run, but this is one that Gunnar Watson did to start the year. He's got his job back after the injury to Taylor Powell, who's watching from the sideline. And it's by some point. Third and seven. Troy not going to get it. Vidal hit. Well, maybe not. What an eight yard run in history. <laughs> <laughs> this might be it for Troy. Watson complete. First down train of Coastal Carolina. Vidal in the backfield. Watson to throw. Getting heated up and down the field. It is in. Watson over the middle. That's complete. And that's going to be close to. Quickly back over the ball. Back to Vidal. Picking his way through the middle. Yeah, yeah. Time is good for him, but how much of that can they do now? Watson lobbing it toward the end zone. That is caught. Touchdown. When they need it, they got it. In a clean pocket for Watson. They only rushed three, and that's all the time in the world. If they can't pull up. Something special here in the next 25 seconds. Watson, some pressure, balls out. Loose, and it looks like Coastal Rico. In a critical part of the game, game on the line, bring your defense in and shut the door. That little dip and rip. Looks like Robert Mathis out there.